Hey guys, it's Jenna, and today I want to talk to you about my own family's moving experience. With baby number five on the way, we decided it might be time to move down the road, um, just a little ways to a home with a few more bedrooms. And I can truly say that it has been a learning experience even for myself as a realtor. I would say it has helped me empathize with how stressful um, moving really can be. In this process, I've learned a lot and I wanted to share just a few tips and tricks with you today that I've learned about showing my own house. And some are more well-known and maybe some are lesser known but I thought I'd share just a few and I'm sure I'll have more to share in the future as we have not fully moved out yet. Okay, tip number one is when you're showing your home, natural light is key. Most homes have a fair amount of natural light, but it's probably being hidden by drapery, blinds, paper shades, you name it. A lot of the rooms in our house, we have small children, so we had blinds over most of them. And I, along with my husband, just took the drapery down um, or we removed the blinds or at least opened it all the way because when you walk into a room filled with natural light It just creates an ambiance that really makes buyers want to be in that space Tip number two would be make the rooms in your home feel larger maybe than they even really are So we have fairly decent sized closets and bedrooms But they felt really cramped because of the amount of furniture or clothing that we had stuffed in them and so just by moving like a dresser or a chest of drawers out of the closet into the bedroom or taking out of season clothing out of my closet and moving it to the basement or putting it in a spare bedroom. It creates the feel that the rooms are actually bigger than they are because the last thing you want is for a buyer to think that your closet is too small and it will definitely give that vibe if you have way too many clothes stuffed in it. So my tip is anything out of season that you're not using, go through it, donate it, or at least put it away for showings and photos. Okay, tip number three is about your showers. Um, buyers want to feel like the home is not really lived in. When they walk in, they want it. They want a clean feeling. They want to almost feel like they can see themselves there. And the best way to do that is to remove as much of your personal stuff as possible. So what I did is I removed probably 75% or more of all of the products and shampoos, conditioners, razors, soap out of the showers. So while it did look fairly empty, it just gave off a much more clean, open feeling. Um, also for all of you parents out there, if your kids have taken over your bathroom, even though they have their own and you have Hot Wheels and dinosaurs, um, also make sure you remove those. Okay, and tip number four, like I said, I probably have a million I could go through, but my last one for now is hire a realtor that you trust. So this process was so different um, since I was negotiating my own contracts and it, was hard to put emotions aside. And that's one of the benefits of having a realtor. When you're negotiating on a home that you've brought your children home to and raised your children in, and you're trying to take the emotions out of it, it's very hard when you're doing that firsthand. Um, so there were times I actually told my husband, I wish I could hire a realtor uh, because it would be easier for me to look past certain things or not get emotionally attached when you're negotiating big, a big deal. And so that would be my, my last tip for now is hire a realtor and especially one that you trust that will put your mind at ease through this process.